Now, after Telangana, a phone tapping charge in Thank Andhra you, Pradesh Vikram. as well. TDP has written to election commission saying that Andhra CM apparently gave nod to unauthorized phone tapping. They've also said our leaders' phones are getting tapped ahead of polls. Election commission must ensure free and fair elections. My colleague Uma Sudhi joins me for more on the story. Uh, Uma, we have seen how uh, Telangana was tapped, by, was rocked by a phone tapping scam. And now uh, it seems that Andhra Pradesh is not too far behind with these kind of allegations coming up ahead of the polls. Yes, indeed. Uh, Telugu Desam leader, senior leader, Mr. K. Ravindranath, who also happens to be a former uh, Rajya Sabha member and also a senior advocate, has written to the Election Commission and he has said that unauthorized phone tapping is happening in Andhra Pradesh and he is in fact saying that uh, police officers are tapping it illegally uh, on behalf of the political leadership. He has said that Nara Lokesh, who is the National General Secretary of the party and of course son of uh, Chandra Babu Naidu, uh, he had received alerts on his iPhone and the allegations that's been mentioned uh, in the letter to the EC is that uh, Pegasus software was used by some unauthorized agents in order to tap and they say that this alert was received in March 2024 as well and they have received another alert now. Uh, specifically, the letter has mentioned uh, the DGP in charge, Mr. Rajendra Nath Reddy and also the intelligence chief PSR Anjane Lu and they in fact use quite uh, serious kind of language against both these very senior officers saying that they were uh, acting as as lackeys of the government and that uh, they were indulging in unethical and illegal acts uh, in order to help the political leadership which means uh, they are talking about the YSRCP and the letter specifically saying that they would like both these officers uh, to be replaced and they also point out uh, that uh, Mr. Rajendranath Reddy has been continuing as DGP in charge uh, which they say is not allowed under the All India Service Rules uh, for appointment of a DG of a state itself. So uh, the phone tapping allegation coming up in Andhra Pradesh one must remember that very critical assembly elections are going to happen there as well along with the parliament elections and as you mentioned in Telangana as well it was in fact uh, prior to the assembly elections that uh, we are being told that uh, the phone tapping was happening in full swing and it was just after the results were declared uh, that the allegation was that uh, Pranit Rao or Pranit Kumar uh, as he is also being called uh, had in fact destroyed as many as 50 to 55 hard disks and all of that was supposed to contain a lot of information of phone tapping of for more than 1 lakh phone conversations is what we are being told and that a team of 25 people uh, the allegation is that a team of 25 people of police officers was actually looking at the movements and the phone conversations of uh, the present chief minister who was also then uh, Tel uh, Telangana Pradesh Congress Committee chief yesterday uh, K. Srinivas Reddy Hyderabad Police Commissioner in a conversation has mentioned that he believes that the phone tapping investigation is going on in the right lines as he, and he seemed to suggest that it may be a matter of time before some political leaders are also called in for questioning that they are summoned for uh, questioning uh, by the investigating team which is going to the phone tapping as of now four police officers have been arrested and several others have been interrogated with regard to the phone tapping back to you thank you very much uma for getting us all those details